Welcome back to Bulletproof Mindset, your go-to podcast for health, fitness and entertainment. So today's episode, we have a returning guest. Uh, Scott Allen is back in the show and he's talking about his retirement from boxing. Scott did not hold back. He definitely did not pull his punches, minus the pun. And uh, he went all in on his career and it was actually quite a good, we, in fact, a very good episode diving into the ups and peaks and troughs and why he got into boxing in the first place and and. A, a tad emotional, if I'm being honest as well. It's on, I said it on the podcast, an absolute privilege to know Scott personally and uh, be there to support him on the on the kind of last uh, year or so on the lead up to him finishing his boxing career. Now, we also chatted about the importance or what the biggest lessons and what he's learned through boxing and if he had to redo it all over again, what he would do to be an even better fighter. With that being said as well, we dove into what's next for Scott and I think you'll be very interested to hear on what he's going to put his time and energy into and what he's doing with all things business and the brand that he has rivals with his brother. Again, as always, great, great, great pleasure sitting down with him. I know for a fact you're going to enjoy this episode. What I would say is if you're new around here, look, I need your help. One of the best ways you can support us and support this podcast that I've got is by leaving a five-star rating on Spotify, Apple Podcast or head over to YouTube, consider subscribing. At the very least, leave a comment below this video, consider liking the video, and uh, yeah, that is the best way to support us. And of course, if you don't already follow Scott, I'll leave a link to his social media channels and the brand Rivals below on how you can uh, in inquire working with the guys. So I think that's enough chit chat. Without further ado, enjoy today's episode, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. So a lot's happened since last time you were here, eh? <laughs> you know. You're shooting for the stars or aiming for a lot of stuff and... Uh, so for the last how many that was the was about we talking about ten weeks ago. Was it? Was, it doesn't even feel like that, man. I'll find like, out. I'll find out like how what the exact thing was. But so you're now retired. You're now <laughs> expecting uh, another wee one along the way. Aye. You've just had a pup litter. <laughs> doing hundreds of things business wise. <laughs> so it felt right to bring you back and see what the fuck's going on like what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> fucking how long? <laughs> I've retired. And it's fucking. I think like, uh, in good old. Scott Allen fashion, like you're living up to your name. Aye. Definitely. It's like, aye, that's a Scott thing today. Life yeah. is 110 miles an hour. And you know, like I had, I had a, I had a, um, sit down coffee with a friend and he says, listen, the day you retire, ensure you've got your next goal set up aye. the morning of. Because if you don't get your next goal set up, you're going to have pure depressive state and your life will fly bits. Mm. Which is like, and he was fucking right. Like, so Stephen, I fucking appreciate that, man. It was, and it was really, really good that, Having that chat with him, like his his um, goal was to be a millionaire and have a million of liquid, and he got that. And when he got the million of liquid, flat, so he just flat. went, yeah, done. It was like, fuck, I've got this million. What's what's the next thing? But for me, like my life is a hundred and ten million now. Like four Have kids, you? I've got five in the way, I've got fucking a lot of bull dogs, I've got fucking chickens, I've got fucking four gyms. <laughs> <laughs> where, where the fuck is it? <laughs> where the fuck? So obviously, when when we dove into your story last time, so eighteenth of July. <laughs> Aye. came up there so it's actually time flies isn't it Mentally. um 18th Mentally. of July we sort of dove into your history your story and then towards the end of it it was a quick two hour conversation but as we got to the end of it can I set in some big goals when it came to looking at retirement for boxing mm -hmm. but try to get that final fight yep. um big believer like fate and all that sort of going there Aye. um and actually I'll talk about this because this this is a hard pill from like we all have dreams we all have aspirations but sometimes Life and circumstances, yep. Can I always do it? You can't guarantee anything that you want in life, no. but you can you look to expect it. So, you were looking to get the remainder of what was the title fight? British title, right? British, British, British title, fight. Marcel Braithwaite. Didn't happen, like, and it was and on the cards, it was like right in the breadwinner. So, I think before last time we had a fight still to hit, yep. Um, what fight was that? That was the fight the Ravens Craig. Oh, so it was. Aye. To, aye. Aye. So, you went to that fantastic, good show, um, uh, pretty easy. Yeah, pretty, pretty easy fight. Fear, um, but again, I think that was another one that was like, look, once this is done, it becomes. It was. Uh, like, it becomes like the British title fight. It should have been British title fight. Um, and then essentially, what's what happened is, I get put to the side essentially. Which there's thing you look back in my first boxing career, and there's no fight that I've took. Like, there's, there's no a big name that I've no fought. It's like you want to fight, I'll take a fight. Yeah, you like, stepped up. No, even the money, because money and the game is fucking rank rotten. Mm, we'll like, talk about that. Aye, we can dive into that. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. But so I was promised this British title fight, British title fight, and it was coming. And then also, I also thought we were British title, the weight above, because again, it came up, ah, fuck it, I'll jump away and 
let's just get into it. And the same happened again inside my same stable, essentially, the, the, or was. The super flyweight division, there's another guy that's the same weight division, and my manager always was pushing this, and, oh, he's super fly this and super fly that. But we're in agreement. It's me. He says, no, they want to win that. I'll defend it in the club. Mm-hmm. It was no, I wasn't defending it. I was fucking after the time. Like, <laughs> they didn't know that. They the didn't time know that. Man. No, but that's what was promised. Do you think they did? Me. No. Um, uh. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think that maybe played the part to win me? Why? I think he was playing the. I was playing the long game. I think he was playing the longer game. Right. Dangle uh, the carrot a wee bit longer to see where you would bite. To see, I to see how much you bite off, and then. Which, t- it's hard, it's like devil's advocate, you can kind of understand from his point yep. of view, but it doesn't make the situation no, it easier. No, it doesn't, it doesn't. Like, and the fact that the British, the boy that holds the British title, like, had smoked, and it was like a big fucking shithouse. It was just one of the ones, it just went for something nothing, and then he's then vacated, he had a mandatory fight against... Um, yeah, Marcel. Aye, yeah. against Brandon Diorg, and then he decided that he's vacated the title. I'm right on it, the board, listen, get me in there, I, I'm your man. So what does that mean? Does that mean the title just gets up for grabs again? So, Aye. So this new guy gets it? No. Or the no. new guy's like in line for it against an opponent Aye. to be brought up with? Essentially, right. I saw the, rather than the old boy, he was getting it because he's next in line to Aye. fight for it. So it'll be him versus somebody that the board picks for Aye. a, a So you make your case to the board. Aye. Um, how does that then look? Oh, I'm on the case, listen, I'm fighting him. Are you feeling he, my manager's tell me no to post on Twitter or no to do this or no to tag board. I say, this is like I'm fucking Scott Allen. I'm fucking posting to her. Fuck, uh, I'll call the cunt out in my video. I don't give a flying fuck. What did it have a reasoning behind it? Yeah, no, I just, just wait till this whole settles with myself, breath and all that. That doesn't add up with me, man. Like, there's something all right there. Um, but uh, listen, it is what it is. Like it. Bygones be got bygones and all that fun tune and stuff. But during the time, like this is you were you, the way you had put it and framed the last time we spoke about this was around look, it's it's a dream ambition. It's one mm-hmm. of the dream goals that you've set for yourself and it's like you're literally you know, you're a ball hair away for achieving that. And the other thing I think when you were tying it back to is like a big driver was showing your kids like you can go after anything in life. So yep. that's all fueled with that that emotion Aye. pushing you towards that. hundred percent was and when we got offered the British tail at the weight above again against a, an absolute killer, like the boy, the boy was different gravy. It didn't add up. We was out to the gym saying, oh, this title fight, so it's a hard fight and that. And we can get the money up. It's just not about the money. Like, I'm not doing there to be a country gatekeeper. Mm. I'm doing it to take the title with both ones. That's me. So this, so you got offered a, a fight at Aye. the next division up? Aye. Right. Aye. Right, 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 and right. right. I like it's and it wasn't my weight division, like so. What did it mean weight wise for you? Oh, it wasn't much. It was like um, six pun, like right. no, no a lot. But in boxing, it is a lot. Aye, aye. Like the uh, because you get your feet. Aye, your water in aye, so feet. aye. It's and they're used to fighting heavier boys and stuff like that. Like so, it's, aye, it's it is a lot in the game. It hundred percent is. And it just didn't sit right, and then me and Ped to sit down my trainer, like, right, and and it was. But then he said, oh, I don't know about that fight and stuff like that. It's then the fight in Abu Dhabi came up for the WBA title. I've seen this to you. Right. And all this, this came up at this, literally the next again day. Like, How does that come about? Is it like... like a phone call. Like, so is Steve this your Willis, manager just I, kind of finding out for you? Yep, right. Steve Wallace phoned my manager. Do you have a super flyweight? Like, and I think what he's done is, rather than dangle the British title, he's dangled a, a title that's mere in front of me. Mm-hmm. To give Matty McHale the British title mm-hmm. and say that it's alright, we'll feed Scott with the, the bigger title Aye, on paper because the WBA title is fucking world title. It's like it was international of some sort, but it's it's essentially a rankings title that gets you to the next goal, to the next world. So I won that title in Abu Dhabi. It'd be my next fight's a world title fight. Mm. Like and I've so Dan goes to carry like retirement's moving fuck. on the card side. Right. And it was only ones like so. Then we sat down. She's get this fight to the road and he's got bride fighting Abu Dhabi and I'm done. Like I'm genuinely done like because it's no. I've tried everything to make it go my way, and it's not happened. Yeah, so looking at another year, sign up to your um, license, commit to another two, maybe three I, fights. I no, and it's not even the, it's not even the, the license and stuff like that. It was the the fact that I wasn't wanting to box mm. next year. Like I was wanting to Oscar. I wasn't wanting to do it last year, like, but 
we prolonged another year and it was another year and it was like I'm sure it was like I remember when we got this place and we were in one day and you're like this thing this will be my last year because we're about to move from one location to open up East Kilbride, open up Airdrie. So our business has got to get pretty crazy. And then seniors like, I've renewed it. And then, like, I want this fight. I want Aye. this title fight. Aye. It's the dangling carrot that's sitting here. <laughs> right. Like, let's fucking... I'm a wee dog. Like, fucking try. You can't get this carrot. The carrot's here. Like, oh, fucking hell. And just ha- the way it happened, like, so this WB title was fucking great. And like, that's, that gave you, like, the... Gave you enough bite to go... You know what? That'll do. That'll, Aye, that'll get, make me feel accomplished. That, that was that was the bite. Like, as a more valuable title than the British. I think the British title fights the, the British Lord Lonsdale British belt is the best belt in boxing history. Like, it is it's spectacular. And you need to keep the belt. You need to win it three times. Like, def- win it and then defend it three times. But they want to get that belt off me if I fucking win it. Like that was <laughs> coming him. I wasn't going. You need to send it back to him and get embroidered with your name on it. Right. And they sent it back, but I just done that myself. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's broken out of my gym and stole my belt. Can you can you believe it? <laughs> fuck. Right. They, were, fuck. Right, they were just getting a new Scott's one. Scott's got a belt like that with his belt. <laughs> Waving it. <laughs> Aye, so uh, the WB hang was in front of us and that, and that was all good. Yeah, box wrecks where everything goes on to done it and stuff like that. And the fight or an East Coast Bride by, and again, like, the opponent was shit. The point I get picked for me. I was going to say, let's talk about that first of all, right? So on the lead up to it, you're expecting the next fight that you fight after Ravens Craig is a British title. Yep. Back and forth, back and forth, and just the guys like people choosing their own boxing career, and yep. it's like fuck, I can't. Because a part of that special, that being a special fight, was that was a boy who got the win over you as well yep. when you don't think it really should have happened. So yep. again, that and him holding the title made that fight possible. Mm-hmm. Um, him stepping away it's like you're fucking bad so somebody somebody square going you and then walking away from you know, <laughs> you're like you're a bastard and, and essentially when I'm like, talking about dangling carrots I'm dangling a carrot he was getting uh, you were, you the were biggest ready. payday you are ready to give him 10 grand life. of your own money Aye. and the purse or whatever that would have Aye. been 12 and a half he was getting so he was getting 22 and a half grand he hadn't got in boxing Aye. He, he hadn't got that purse yeah. but see if you're to step confident. away from that I think kind of Says a few more things. Uh, yep. I also don't know the guy personally, but uh, whatever, right? So that that breaks down, that goes away. So you're then in a space where you're like, don't think I'm going to get this British title fight. The other one gets dangled, so it's like, right, cool. So you get the fight in East Kilbride. Fight in East Kilbride, is that just because there was a card coming up and you wanted another home fight before you left? Aye. Or like, what's the Aye, because I, I knew I knew that, that would be Abu Dhabi was my last. Right, was, okay. And stuff me that, and let's just say that was 12 weeks. It was, it was 12 weeks. But East Kilbride's eight weeks. It was four weeks apart. What do you mean? And Ped's like, oh, fuck. Did we take this fight in East Kilbride? I said, hi, we do. Like, I need a, I need a final. I need a final fight in the UK. I, yeah. I need to say goodbye to everybody that's supported us and the journey and that. Like, it's, it's been emotional. So I want to give you my fans and my friends, my loved ones and that, a final hurrah that can't afford to go to Abu Dhabi. Mm-hmm. So we're doing it. He says, okay, opponent has to be a donkey. But which... Which, understandably, from yeah. Ped's position, yeah, yep, I am we. I because he's worried about his athlete. He wants his, yep. he wants you to be in the best condition Aye. going into the main title fight. You don't want the cuts, injuries, nothing like that, <clears> and <throat> whatever else. No, like, and they're referred to like as journeyman. Journeyman, aye, right? aye, aye. Like, who did? So then, what happens next year? Because you didn't get a donkey. No, I didn't get a fucking donkey. <laughs> no, I couldn't have came trying to take me either. Aye, fight. Can't, Which is fine. Aye, aye, I, I, I know that you're, you're aye, up I for love that. that. I love that. Yeah, yeah, love it. He sent me a fucking. A southpaw, a, a donkey, a southpaw, right? And piss up with a southpaw at flyweight, which is the way it was fighting at in Abu Dhabi. Somebody my weight, in my weight class. He says, You're not fighting a fucking southpaw. This was a couple weeks ago. He says, But you're fighting an orthodox in the biggest title fight of your life. Tell him you, you're fighting an orthodox and we're not doing any other. And for those listening, like, what's the difference between orthodox, two your left leg, your left hand forward, your back hand, your power hand, your right yeah. hand. Southpaw, your right leg's so, forward and your left handed. They're awkward bastards to fight southpaws. They're so just. Because right, you're used to training with. Orthodox fighters and all that stuff, right? But uh, again, it was what it was. And so I said to him, I said, Southpaws, no. Like, we're fighting. Come on, Ian. Like, Orthodox fighter. What was the reasoning of that? Is that just who was available or just. I don't know. Money as well. I think so. How much money you pay to get these guys? Uh, you can get you get donkeys all day long. you got to pay donkeys their, their, their wage. Mm. Aye, if you do, they'll come up and they'll fight. Mm. If you don't, then no. 
Like, since it was a Spanish boy that was then in, coming, orthodox fighter. 50-50 record, mm. which, no, a donkey, he tries and comes and has a go, <laughs> wins and some in the road. Some, like, most likely these 50-50 guys, their losses, as more wins on home shows as such. Mm. So, to him, then, he'd field visa or something like that, then they go to the next guy, and the next guy was... The next guy was uh, three weight divisions above me. I said, fucking hell, he's fought up right, he's fought right up to lightweight, light welterweight even. Like, holy fuck. I know, but he's coming down to your weight. He's, well, it's a wee bit heavier. It's a wee bit heavier. Like, uh, a fight in Abu Dhabi was eight stone three. It's not a wee bit heavier. I'm like, well, okay. Eight stone six, maybe. Ah, like, no, nah, nah, maybe. Eight, nine, eight, ten, maybe. I said, oh, nine, nine, ah, two, nine, four. Aye, <laughs> aye, aye, ten, aye. And I'm like, fuck. And I'm looking at him before the scales and I think, there's no danger that cunt's fucking eight stone eight, eight stone nine. Ah, but give me two. Boy, ah, he was fucking. I ah, was a big boy. A good bit of length and reach on him. And uh, he, he must have knew it was like my last dance in the UK, and he came and tried to James have swinging. a proper go. James swinging. I watch fair fox to him. This guy weighs in the scales down. Is that the first time seeing him, or did you were you able to get any footage and stuff like that? I had watched a little bit of footage on him. Aye. I watched him look at a couple of boys, and it's like, oh, I see. <laughs> Come and swing. Oh, you were you were never going to say no. No. What was the what was Ped's? Um, I take it he he's aye. like reviewing all that aye. He says, and training fucking, you towards it. It's fucking terrible. Oh, does like, it? Ah, it's fucking terrible. He's got you a live cunt that's coming to his half. Ah, it's fine. I'm like, it's fucking brand new. It's, it's great. Aye. Don't like a good show for the cunt's coming. Like, I said, I know, I get that. He says, but you look at everybody else in the card. Mm. It's always you that gets hit with this fucking straw. Mm. Like, it's always you. All the way fights you take, all the guys that just couldn't get you empty. You're like, ah, oh, fucking fight am I? Right, and the only time that we asked for a donkey, we didn't get a donkey. Aye, just, uh, you're hoping for it. Aye, I, I wasn't hoping for it, I didn't give a fuck. Like, I generally, a fighting man, so it was like, let's try, let's fucking have a go, man. Let's go for it, aye. And it's, I so it was like, uh, it was dangerous, to be fair. I and, like, own. First round was a piece of piss, I think this is fucking easy, aye. Second round, he, he clapped us in these few shots. I think I lost the second round, actually. I did. Face, face this way, I did. Yeah. I did, I did. I lost the second round. Picked the back of the third, the fourth, and the fifth, and he hit us this fucking arsehole winder, man, like, dink. Very, very rarely, dag it. caught you. Aye. Dag the flash, I'm like, oh, you cunt. You seen that, if you, well, you obviously, you were there, but, Watching the back, I'm right on him. What? He's a wee hoddy good buddy, right? Yeah, I'm in the eating on that, the bastard on these, trying to nip him in that. This is fucking, I'm sear. <laughs> <laughs> My head's spinning, you cunt. <laughs> you heard in the comments, oh, I think Alan's caught. I'm like, aye, fucking Alan was caught. That was a good tune. <laughs> right towards the end as well. I swung like, fuck, I said, aye, fair fucks to him. Pulled the back uh, the sixth round, and it was my sixth round, and it was fair. And busy, just go on your bike, hit and move, ping shots, mm. win the round, win the fight. Happy days, and I we did we got the win, and then right. that was it. So right after, like um, like you say, Boxrec tells you who's fighting, what's the story, and before the fight was on Boxrec and all that, and everyone was fine. Literally, right after the fight, like my horn got raised and Ped's on his phone in the change room, sort of off to, after you're high in your forties and you're you're buzzing that, and yes. Yeah, Fucking stranger, you're a box rick. That's fighting Abu Dhabi. It was straight after the fight. You Literally, found right after it. Fuck. I didn't find out. Aye. Need I didn't want know. They yeah. passed it to me. Right. And so I text Ian, that means my manager. I text him. That night I'm heading back home. Like, uh, sorry, it, was, it wasn't in the it wasn't in the arena. It was after we were heading home, paid for me. A bit high. I said, but your fight's a box rick. It's fucking a bit strange. Mm. I said, aye, so it is. Text Ian straight away. Phones him as well. Like, bear in mind, this is one in the morning or maybe twelve. When, whenever it was, we were heading home. Um, he did the answer. So the next game morning, I've texted him again, and I phoned him, and then I phoned him again. I'm thinking, like, something fishy. Yeah. He never Disney or see any time that I phone him, and he's busy. He gets back to you. On, on your message, it says, "I'll call you back sooner." Or whatever, call you five. Automatic. He always does. He always sends it, and he always phones me. Like there's, there's like. As much as like the the one in that was shite, like he always picked up the phone to me. Mm. He, he did have that care inside to him. A lot of people say a lot of shit about my and that, but he did have a care inside to me. I think, um, and nothing. I went for I went for lunch with 
um, Kieran Smith, he's former retired boxer, like great great guy as well. Um, also Pet trained him and sitting at sitting at Aroma, and the phone goes and uh, I says fucking see. Kieran looked at her, says, oh, you better answer that. I said, oh, you fucking dated me last night. Stop. Answer it. It's fine. I said, fuck it. I answered the phone and that, and then I goes outside, and at this point, my mum and dad end up coming in. No, they weren't invited, just right. come in and just seen us My and chance. sat next to us, aye, aye, and uh, Ian said, that's the fight in Abu Dhabi, aye, like, you've texted me last night this morning, so I back to you, like, I was wanting to leave it a few days, but the fight in Abu Dhabi's off. I says, fuck. Man, it was like, just sunk, like, my full, the buzz, it was like, fuck, man. Jesus, man, that's a fucking boot right in the balls, man, like, it's, it was hard. It was, I was fucking nearly greeting that, I says, fuck. Aye, I'm back in and I just sat down and I said, aye, well, fights off, I'm a retired man. Mm. That's me, and it was like a pure slump. Like, I slumped in a chair and that, I'm like, fuck. My dad puts on and I said, sorry, son, get one more in you. I says, nah, nah, my dad's always, my dad's why I see me back kickboxing. No, no. Like, yeah, I'll get me back kickboxing next year. I genuinely won't be back kickboxing next year. Like, I won't be, um, I need to be so selfish again, but when that hit, it was like, fuck. <clears throat> Jesus. So essentially, like, Kieran Smith and my mum and I knew before my wife or anybody else. So I phoned my wife up and said, that's, that's it, we're, mm. we're done. Like, you can get your red panties out knowing her. Like, <laughs> you can be glad that I'm now bygones of the sport and that. And it was, uh, ah, it was like a, an emotional day. And then, like, it didn't quite sink in. Oh, fuck. Phone Sam straight away. Phone Perry after that and said, listen, I were, I says, thank you for everything that you've done for me. But that's us were. It's like proper walking away. Aye, like we're retired. Essentially. It was, it was like, again, I want my throat hanging about it actually, like, even that. And I recorded a video up there and it was, I recorded a video just saying everything that I'm retired. And yeah, it was an emotional like, thing. Aye, it was like, fucking, I stopped the video, it was great in that. Like a big wind in his there, like fucking. <laughs> 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 it, was, it, was, it was such a shame for me not to go out in that. It's your like, life boy. Aye. At that point. Aye, it was, it was everything. Like, and it wasn't like, you're the only person, actually. Like, I'm grateful that I was in here. I don't know what, I don't know what it was there for, actually, but I blew them. And you're just in next aye, door. Aye, right? are you all right? I said, ah, fuck, I am all right. She says, no, no, yeah. Yeah, you always ask twice. Are you all right? Like, I'm like, fuck, man. Like, that hurt me. I'm like, oh, you cunt. Like, am I all right? <laughs> Balling I don't know. these emotions. Like, fuck, I'm like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Like, they'll you cunt, you man. I ain't going to speak this whole morning. Give me a shrink. <laughs> Aye, but and then, uh, it wasn't until, like, it wasn't until you had said that, it was like, fuck, I am genuinely done. Mm. That's, that's me done with the sport, man. It was, it was emotional. Mm. Like, for something that's had my life for so long, and now, I didn't get the career exposure ending that, that I wanted. But what I can say is, I'd done it my own way. Like, there was nobody that, all like these pro boxers, that then they get drawn into being a kind of gatekeeper for the bigger stars or the, the stars up and coming. I'll fight him because he lost a few and he lose another and another. Like I didn't get drawn into that, mm -hmm. which I'd done it genuinely on my own terms. Mm -hmm. As much as, as emotional it was and stuff like that, at the end, and I, I didn't get that title fight at the end. Um, they still, I'll, I'll, give the, I'll give the Saudi Arabia or the Arabs or the Abu Dhabi boys their due. Like... Excuse me, they said to Ian, I send me send me his back details and we'll send him a grand. Oh really? Ah, hurry, fuck. Hey, what? I don't know what they did. A thousand dollars they sent yeah. me, like, yeah. seven hundred. What did they get called off for? Was it just one of these things? I don't know. That, oh, right. I nice. genuinely don't know. The full show it cancelled. That was, I was told. Now, the fight wasn't set by my manager, so it's then like a third party fight, so that the. Abu Dhabi people are speaking with Steve Willis and Steve Willis speaking to my manager and my manager speaking to me. It's like a fucking, it's a chain of conversations. For me, the show was cancelled. That was it. It doesn't matter what, what the do. reason was. Like, was it the walls? Was it <coughs> something else? Was it the ticket sales? Like, I, I don't fucking know. Like, genuinely don't know. So it was just one of the things that's, it's done. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I and I'll give them, they did send me a thousand dollars, which was, 
Makes it a wee bit less sure. Aye, aye, it does, <laughs> it does, it does. Considering the ways you get paid for the, the fight, uh, right? Aye, so go, go on, like, circling back to the fight, because it's like, you're on this runway, and it's getting higher and higher, and we knew that that probably was a, a highlight of your whole career, aye. but knowing that you had the Abu Dhabi fight, I don't think you would you can make that the pinnacle, because it's like, no. like, guys, I'm going to be fighting again anyway, so it's like, at the, again, you, you're expecting this next bit, aye. I think that must have been the... I think that was when I asked you, I was like, man, that, I don't know what you feel in that situation. It's like, I don't know, I don't know what you could compare it to. Aye. It's, you, you're expecting this feeling you're putting in. You're obviously, you're ready to fight. Aye. But you don't get to display and achieve what it is you want to do. That was harder than the actual fight. Because knowing that I'd made my mind up, this was my last fight in the UK. And they played Dan Walker tune and I was fucking raging, I was say, man. So like, the, the actual on the night, like, in terms of like ticket sales and all that sort of stuff, Felt like brought maybe one of the biggest parties to there. I you know, I, I, I did. It was did the you? biggest party yeah. that, I, that I brought to the East of Bride. Do you um, know how many tickets sold and all that sort of stuff? I don't. The, the total, no. I, Are they, they quite? No, no, no. no better tell me. I, I, I only I'm sold a, 10 tickets. So just aye, <laughs> no, 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 no. On small hall shows, you're, you're like required to sell a certain amount of tickets or they, mm -hmm. they want you to cover your wages and your opponent's wages so it's no cost, no money. Uh, of course. Which, Makes from sense. a business perspective, I like, fucking right you want that to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and I'd done nine and a half grand worth of tickets, or just nine grand, I think it was in ticket sales, which was great mm -hmm. like, in a small hall show. Like, and I think it was 150 tickets or something, 140 tickets I'd done. Like, ah, it was great. The support I had, the crowd aye, was here. Was, everybody showed up. It was, awesome. it was actually quite good. I actually. Sitting there, I was like, "That's quite emotional." Like to hear you come out to the tune and all that. And also, I didn't know until after, so they played the wrong walkout. Pass it, aye. What Pass happens it. there? Like, so is that is that how? And talk about throwing your game before aye. you're supposed to come out, man. Literally right before I had a blaster jack done. It's time to say goodbye, remix, which is like a fucking it is a filthy it's tune, man. Oh off, man, it? get me pumped, right, <laughs> man. Who's pumped? Not listening, ain't. And I already picked it. Like, I heard this song months ago. It was on TikTok, and I says that is the song I need for the last one. Walk, that yeah. is that's fucking it. And it wasn't even released. I actually mentioned him personally. Like, mm. I think he's got fucking millions of followers on Instagram. He won't get back to me. Oh, Jenny did. Oh, I was class. Jenny get back to me. She's listen. Like, I only just followed him fucking that day. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's uh, like, I've been a fan for I, ages. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just tell him straight. Listen, make your tune as a fucking banger. I'm a professional boxer. I would love for that to be my final walkout tune. It's not been released. What's the chances of before October the 4th being released? Or... Can I play it? Aye. Can you give me the version? Right, aye. It says, if it's not released by then, I'll give you it. Aye. I says, fucking... Fuck man, you go, that's, bastard, that's awesome. Lana, Fucking aye. class. So then I had... Sweet Caroline's always my tune to walk out there anyway, right? We marry and that. And I had... Ross... Macintosh does all my sounds and light engineer, he's, he's a wizard. He had then remixed the Blaster Jack version. He didn't remix, he just cut Sweet Caroline into it. was like a, then a wee outro into it. It's time to say goodbye, Blaster Jack. And I was pumped up. Like, I sent him the, the emails and that and get everyone sorted. And then it was, uh, I had news straight away as soon as he played. Like it, the first beat you came Aye, it wasn't, a, well, it wasn't Sweet Caroline, and it was a slow version of It's Time to Say Goodbye by. Oh fuck! Forget the boy's aye, name. So there's like it's no good. The, the opera, aye, aye, it's the opera. La, 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 la. And it was aye. like, oh, you bastard! And I'm saying to Sam, play that fucking tune. Peds in the Sam always walks out with always like behind me. It's just something I've done a like, whole career, like boxing, kickboxing. It's just how it's been. I said, play that fucking tune. It's all right, get his own. I said, no, I'm fucking raging. Play that fucking tune. It's like a day. Relax, let's enjoy this moment. Like the minute you and there's like a. Sh Cotton, no cotton, like a big yeah, banner. Then you walk in that banner, you could have a cotton, it'll be fine. And it was, wasn't it, quite the the expectation I was want because I wanted a big, filthy, banging <laughs> tune that was coming out. I was like, fucking yes. But that was what it was. Like, yeah. it's nothing. How important was it to have Sam there? And oh, it's box? like, it's just, he's just somebody that I can always count on. Like, always. Like, throughout my whole life, it's like very. I don't think you get brothers that are as close in life than me and Sam. Like I really don't. Like we essentially do everything together. But even even leading up to it, right? When 
I couldn't be fucking out running, knowing I had to go out running, like, can't wait now, it's just shit, like, getting you shown you aye, so I can't go around the 98 o'clock, and it was almost like a fucking six cents, like, I can't be fucked, I need to go, I don't want to go, it's like, and he's Texas, it's like, and I'm not even say, I'm not even say to him, like, aye, right, we're running, like, it's just, get the brother look, aye, and even, even that, any time leading up to that, and, if I go walk, if I go train, if I go to the gym, like, it was aye, aye, see you there, aye, even, it's mental, like, it's just, there's nothing that, None that he does that I don't agree with, and the vice versa. Like we just we go on. Yeah, it's, it's, but I think that's also why your business together has been so successful. And Aye. your family and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, as well as they as they have because yeah, all that goes on. Aye. Um. So, so the the wrong tunes played. You come out, you go away anyway. That's what that's the part I didn't know it was the wrong tune. Aye. Um. I was thinking I was like. I can understand why he's played a slow song, Aye. but in my head I was like, I thought he'd have up beat stuff. Aye. Uh, the Sweet Caroline, for those who don't know, like that's been your your pocket tune for <laughs> since Day Dot. Day Dot, aye. Day Dot. Like, literally Day Dot. Keep watching these quick to a bit of hardstyle type stuff. Um, the Namish of them I seen professional. It was like, ah, it was Sweet Caroline in. Always, maybe into something else, or, but it was always Sweet Caroline that started the, the tune. Of. Were you ever nervous walking out? Aye. 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 Were you more nervous this time? No. No, it was mad feeling actually. It was like a whirlwind of emotions walking out. The nerves, the energy, the rank tune. It was like, fuck, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm warming up. I mean, I'm warming up and I'm feeling a bit tired. I mean, it's just probably all the emotions. Emotional crash. I, on, I yeah. as I'm warming up, I'm like, fuck, oh, Jesus Christ, like, oh, I'm feeling a bit tired. I don't have fucking the pads for 30 seconds. Like, Jesus Christ, I've got a fight going up that. And it was one of the ones that was, uh, so I'm like, come on, like, just, and they always say it, lean up to fight, no matter what you've trained, all the runs you've done, all the paddle work, the sparring you've done, like, you're the best shape of your life, and it's like, just some reassurance. Yeah, that you're here. Aye, aye there's, you're there, we're doing it, let's enjoy the process of the final fight. Mm. Right, and, and then, as he said that, so let's enjoy the process of the final fight, it was a fucking... It was fate, yeah, couldn't you? <laughs> you not said that. <laughs> he's checked box record before it. He's like, oh, this is half. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Again, it's, it's one of the ones that's, uh, aye, so I really enjoyed it. Mm. I enjoyed it today in front of a good crowd, which is brilliant. Mm. And then, essentially, this is me now. He's doing our something business. Mm. Aye, so we'll come on to the next aye. chapter. One thing I still want to ask is, see, this is the first thing, like, I'm no, I'm no, like, know that I'm no into, like, uh, fighting sports like I'll get behind the more common the more celebrity popular ones yours has been like the kind of first one where I've knew somebody personally been at it and never like watching it's like he's, he's got this but when you see two folk go at it you're like man man, they're really going for it here um, knowing that that was your last fight and it was a tough opponent like, I found myself first a couple of times like hearts in my throat here man okay. like, <laughs> better fucking go at this cause, especially because the boy was hitting some, some hard punches Aye. then he starts doing like a bit of mocking, I don't know if that's his style or what it is that he does, where he's from or whatever. That can, what was quite interesting is he is, didn't he phase you whatsoever? No. It was like, I d well, did it phase you? No. Because nah. I know no. you were saying like, after I spoke to you, like, Ped and Sam in the corner, I was like, they're trying to get a bite, don't get it. Just be laser focused. Yep. And you would see, maybe more of a younger fighter who's got an ego to prove, wee bit of testosterone, like higher testosterone, and like, oh, fuck who you, fucking uh, dancing a bit. Tongue out in the eye, whatever aye. it is, like, aye, aye. Doing all the, who's, the, who's the boxing fighter that does the, that sort of stuff, who's the, does all the, that, that, dots, that original one you need to go to, um, oh. Prince Nazim, mm -hmm. like, uh, the original. So there's like, a guy recently who's fighting, I don't know what his name is. Ben Whitaker. Aye, Ben, Ben Whitaker. Aye, aye. Uh, so it was like, there was a bit of that going aye, on. Aye, there was, aye, there was, 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 he done it. He done it. He stuck his tongue. And I just stepped him a triple jab. Ah, pop, you got him. Pop, pop, pop. Right. He's like, yeah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> fucking dick. Right. So none of that phases you then? Nah, nah. nah. nah it's like, um, like Ped and Sam says, just stay laser focused on the job at hand and fucking do it. Go for it. Yeah. Aye, that's that was that, and we got the win. Most importantly, like, and I that's. And then that's after that. the win, so what's the? Do you think you felt you left in good terms with the guys? The boxing club, or I mean, like there's, I, I would say the there's no bad feelings. I understand the business. It's corrupt as fuck. Mm. Corrupt as fuck. Like in terms of like just the favourite gets pushed yep. forward all the time. Right. Face fits great. Face fits doesn't great. 
you going? <laughs> you going to my record? You'll see a draw. My record with Scott McCormack, right? I think people Scott McCormack. I didn't beat him for the Scottish title after that, right? Right? There's a draw in my record. Right? It's just fucking brutal. Obviously, one that pisses you off. Aye, right? aye. Right. My first loss. Let's go back to that. My first loss was Michael Rama Baletsa, right? 50 50 fighter. He wins some road, he loses some on the road. Like most of his losses in the road, they'll most likely be wins mm-hmm. right? because he's one of these um, guys that just come for a scrap. If he doesn't knock you out, like anyway, so I was fighting at the air, air hall, not the air um, hotel in Kilmarnock uh, next to right, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. I can't remember the name. Aye, whatever it is. And the fight before me, the journeyman leathers the prospect. And the prospect gets the win, and the journeyman's coach says, yes, fuck it, I'll do you better. I can sort this. Decisions are terrible. Like, that was, the man definitely won, which he did. And fair, right, okay. I was next, mm-hmm. right? And a uh, close fight, very close fight, and your man won. Now, we done, we felt as though we done way enough to win the fight. Mm-hmm. My man's at times, Alec Morrison. Cracking, big guy. A lot of people don't like him, right? Ah, he's fucking great, right? He's up. He jumps up to the ring, Kenneth Pringles and the ropes and I stuck at the video, right? <laughs> and he's grabbing Kenneth Pringles with the scuff in the neck, right? <laughs> and he's doing that and he's keen at that big leg. Right. And in front of the, front of the crowd and that, he's yeah, yeah. a fucking dick. Scott Allen won that fight, busting away. You get fined a thousand pounds for bringing the sport into distribute, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, yeah. it's just funny, right? So that's that's one side of that, right? Yeah. The next side to Foscombe Cormac, both of us are managed by the same manager. Aye, under the same order. Yep, same banner. And Barclays Cunning, I was in my wages. I says, again, wages were fucking terrible. I says, what the fuck was that? Like, I punched his cunning. He says, ah, I know, but, you know. So they gave you the draw for that fight? Aye, he says, both you are my guys and that, and, uh, you know, I need to look after you both. I says, you saying what I think you're saying? You're implying that that was going to say it was a draw? Aye, aye. Aye, that's, that's right. I says, you fucking... You fucking dick. I said, give my contract back. I'm not wanting that shit. This is corrupt to fuck. How long ago was that? Well, this was at the start of my career. Like, uh, and then, Wally Lemon had then got his manager's deal and stuff like that. God rest his soul. Um, and he had then said, uh, Wally was a pal of mine. So like, it was, it was mad. If you know Wally Lemon, like, you know, he's fucking mental. Right? Or if you did know him, he's passed away now. Uh, but, and he said, I've got my manager's licence. You want to sign me? So I'm so more than that, but it's just, if we can get out of that contract, would you sign? I said, aye. And then that happened, and it was like, aye, fuck. Well, like, he's had all the time, I'll sign you first time. Like, fucking let's go. Aye, aye also, so. the, the scrap at the air thing, it was after aye, that. Aye. So you're like, I'm not getting fined for this, I'm not getting my purse skin out of the Essentially, that. aye. So then I signed all in that, and it was, it was great. Uh, and my first fight, way while he was a Scottish title fight against Scott McCormack, and I battered him. Like, Battered him. Very similar to the first time round. More. Right. Battered him yeah. more. Like, Probably because that was fueling the more. Aye, aye, definitely. Big Alex, oh, he's, he's got some poo for the last time they fought. I said, fucking, you cheeky bastard. I battered him <laughs> fucking first time, you can't. Yeah, yeah. It was only a four rounds, this one was your ten. Um, and then after, I don't know, Wally's, I don't know what happened with Wally and his manager career. I don't recall, actually. Um, then I seen with Ian Wilson, and I was being Wilson. The rest, yeah. the rest of it. Like, do you think that thing that happened early days? Do you think that tainted? Oh, it's aye, like it's aye, it's it's very much corrupt mm. in boxing. If your face fits, great. Face fits, fit. Because you're someone who's like you know put it politically correct in front of the camera. You're just it's got Allen for shots. I and just don't give a fuck. Aye, yeah, like, is, like it's who you are. And I think um, people either like it, or they don't. Aye, like, cause I generally aye. just tell you straight to your face, like you're a cunt. Yeah, like, even when I come in on the phone to. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going to say what I said in yeah. the phone, right? But it's still like, it's just, you can relate to it essentially, or you don't like it, mm-hmm. which is, I, I'm I'm totally fine with either. Mm-hmm. Like, because if I was ever just cup of tea, I would be a mug. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fucking mug. Right? <laughs> so, like, if you think I'm a dick or whatever, you're right. Mm-hmm. You are correct. But see, you think I'm a good cunt. Guess what? You're also correct. Mm-hmm. Like, because that's your perception of me as an individual person. Yeah. And I'm okay with everybody having their own views on it. Like we're all judgmental bastards and air thing you do. Oh, of course, yeah, you, you judge you get an opinion and something. And like it's that. and it's it's bad. Mm. Sometimes you think, oh, state that cunt. I can't get my money on you. Yeah. 
sometimes you need to check yourself as Aye. well. It's like I had an opinion of him, they've Aye. changed, and it's like, oh fuck, I actually quite like them. Yeah. Yep. Um so with having that, what I guess going back even a step, because we didn't really touch on this the first time, like what was the main driver of getting into boxing? Knowing that you achieved your heights at kickboxing, you couldn't get honestly money and fame. I was going to say, was it attention yep. and, and money? Right, full stop. That's it, money and fame. Mm-hmm. And then I realised there was no money in it, and I wasn't getting any famous. <laughs> I'm not putting me bastard. I'm fucking eleven years deep in the fucking game. <laughs> so the the fame side of things, then uh, not the fame, sorry, the money side of things. When was that? When was that apparent? The fuck, the first fight. Four, no, first fight I thought it was all right. Yeah, but I, I got a grand in a kickboxing here and there. And I was, fair enough. I done it as, as much as I done it as a professional athlete at world level. It was great. The money's a lot better now. Mm-hmm. That's my that's oh, Can I get glory in that? Can it win? Look at the money you'll wear. And I said, ah, I know, but his dad's saying this. Ah, he's, right? he's, he's trying. He's, he's been trying for ages. Like my dad really enjoyed me kickboxing. Mm-hmm. Like it's, as genuinely, I get excited talking about it, but. I won't ever do it again. Mm. I genuinely won't. I'm done. But I might stick the, the boots now and kick a cut of cunts in the gym yeah. for. Remind the coaches. Aye, <laughs> remind them that I can have a go when I want. The new you know, and that. Like, look at the old Scott yeah, and Sam's. I, I know. Get in the ring, you bastard. Aye, you know. <laughs> <laughs> aye, so when I when I then thing do it, I done really well my first fight and tickets. So it was like you would get your ticket sheet, ten percent t- ticket commission, then you get your wages. Like I think. He's got £12 pounds. Oh, that's alright for four rounds Sorry, six rounds My first was a six rounder And then I fought in a matchroom Show on the The undercard there Ricky Burns I fought Francis Crows And I think for four rounds I got 16, 17 hundred pounds That's fucking alright So you've seen the money go up Can I, a wee uh, bit, a wee I, bit, uh, Then it was So I did 10 shows. fights I'll be in 10 grand, 15 ah, grand a fight great. Easy peasy Ah, you think that So then it goes And small whole shows And it, Again it was like A grand for four rounds And stuff like that You think I am I'm okay, so there's at the time I'm still a young, a young lad. Well, twenty two, I twenty two, twenty three, youngish to know that I think oh, this was a lot of money. Oh, you fucking beauty, I. Next time it came, and then it was small hall shows again. You were getting that. Then I more recent time had my manager, and he'd fought, he'd set a show up, had done a pair of tickets, and then he cancelled the show three days before. I moved it, didn't cancel, so I moved it a week later. Right. So then my taxes went for went to it's 100 to like 60. Aye. Because people's changed. Aye, yeah. I don't want the money back, whatever else, no, they babysitter stuff for the night. And that was fine. Then they cancelled the show for that time. The next game week, mm. which my taxes was trapped again. And like the, the support as such wasn't quite there throughout. So from a business perspective, wasn't it? I didn't great. look like a keen no, fight. No. And then I fought Cash for Rook first time. Um, at the Radisson close fight the first fight like could have potentially went either way the second fight he'd, he was such a superior man to me in the first one like different altogether um, but I the, the, the first fight was a close enough fight he got the nod I think that was supposed to be a defence of my Scottish title but because he only had four fights or whatever it was the board didn't see him as eligible enough to fight for it right. so it was like a champion chip belt the next time was for Scottish title because he really beat me proved himself aye that. and then he'd, uh, the corner through a tail which I was fucking raging on fucking raging say that again the yeah. corner at the time through in the tail fucking raging like, for you or aye for me right, and right. the round 8 or 9 of 10 I was getting beat I was losing the fight he was catching beautiful shots and that and, mm-hmm. but anyway I, I was raging um, so I came back after that <clears throat> Had a fight My fight after that was for the Celtic title Against Gary Ray And Cashbrook had then went to win the British title And I'm still staying with Ian at the time But they had Gary Ray And Cashbrook already Set up for the British title fight mm-hmm. Already on Box Rick mm-hmm. Like on the sick chicken night see, yeah, yeah. Like, So it was a big deal of Gary Ray beating Scott Allen And Cashbrook coming in the ring and should be there. Yeah. Aye, should be a fight. Sent the belt and that. Say, ah, the fuck to you. But I'm upsetting this apple cart. Mm. I punched guy this cunt in. I, I fucking <laughs> gave him a scheme booted man. Like, a, went for it. Aye, aye. How he stayed up a couple of times. It was uh, as it was, and then after all, I won the fight, and so that 
Kay Bosch that. Right. I said, oh, it's fine. I'll fight for the British. Just get on, I'll have a third one. Didn't he? Aye, because it's like two. It must be a hard aye. one. Like Aye. After that, then it was like, so the, the money for the guy they fight for the 10 rounder, like two grand. That's fucking... Is that the biggest payday at this point? At this point, aye. Right. Aye. Cash fruit for my 10 rounds, I think, eight. Eighteen hundred pounds or something. Like that. Terrible money. Like, terrible money. Like, you're grafting like fuck for twelve weeks. Aye, for the for the. And getting two grand at the, the end of it. Like, so, and, that was that. At the end of it, then it was. Um, I offered to fight Lee McGregor. It was on. I don't know what the Telly Channel it was on. They offered me five grand. I said, "Get the fuck five grand. Twelve round come, I'll fight. I'm I'm not doing it for that. Mm. Like, I'll fight him for ten. Like, just fuck it. Give me ten grand. I'll fight him." Oh, I don't know give me 10. I said, well, that's not happening. And he's he's a gobshite, a oh, fucking shite bag. I said, there's, there's what I've said. Like, if your manager and that's can come up with two mere grand, mm-hmm. the fight's on. Mm-hmm. Like, right under his skin, it was funny, actually. Like, <laughs> he took the bait. If you watch that on YouTube, it was, he took the bait. <laughs> Something awful. Uh, and then I fought for 10 grand. That was, like, my biggest payday. But even that, like, you're, you're taking all your training into account and stuff like that. And at the end of your... The end of your wage, like you're seeing 10 grand, you get 35% looked after, like that. Aye, and that's you 25% to your manager, 10% to your trainer, and that's without you officially paying tax on your training, because essentially that's a livelihood that you need to pay tax on that. And the tax man, as every cunt knows, he's a cunt, right? But he doesn't take your tax for the bottom line, he, he takes, takes that to the tab line. So, like, what the bus, that 10 grand's now went to four? <laughs> like, what's going on? Holy fuck. <laughs> Cunt back, like, <clears throat> then is this the first this is the next biggest payday then aye. this is like you think you're getting into real money aye now? aye didn't win the fight so it was like you then back down the betting order of where do you go like the grafting to get aye, back up to again. get back up to mm-hmm. the bigger tight nights mm-hmm. um, so after that won a few uh, get your momentum going again aye aye then I fought for the British title I suppose tail end of last year the, the beginning of last year February of 23 I thought Sean Gold at the weight above I thought then Marcel Bray fit for the WBC international title down there again 10 rounds like and I get four and a half grand or something like that some shit like, and boxing was never about the money for me well uh, it was when it seemed a sign see when it was it was it was money and fame that was that I bet all seen you recognised during this time I, you were like I can make a martial arts school yeah. pay me better than what boxing is yep. so you're in boxing for the love of it yep. you're in it for what to get status what to get be kind of secluded as Aye. one of the better fighters. Yeah, aspiration of becoming a world champion is, is that being I sparred a few world champions and known for me to get to that level, it's unlikely mm. going to happen. Definitely kickboxing. I'm naturally talented at it. Mm. I think it's, it's a punch and it's a kick. It's no, it's different. It's completely different. The boxers punch harder than like I sparred with Kyle Frampton. I was like, Jesus Christ, I am fucking way at my depth here. Aye. Like, Jesus, it's. And at the time he was the same weight divisions and stuff like that. So it was oh, is he? right, okay. So, so you're starting to see like the, the, the levels to the game. different levels. The levels to the game. Like I'm, I'm Scottish champion. I think <clears throat> great. Aye, because you've got all the all the um, backing. You know. Aye, you've got the momentum behind you. You're the man. Take like, MD on. Aye, you're great. On Spiral Car Family, you're a cunt punch then. Don't know if this is a sport for aye, me. Aye, aye. Well, uh, that was that was that. Uh, Where are you in life with kids, family, business at this point? Cash for it, fight. One, I just had my daughter, Sophia. Business wasn't doing great. Mm. It was seen as by paying us fucking quite a week or something like that. Like, delighted that 23, 24. Did you know about like, the status of what you wanted to do? Well, I suppose this is at a time maybe where still partying in a sense with Aye. friends and a yep. right, cool. Yep. Right, so so like the whole like entrepreneur mindset it's no nah. it's maybe deep within certain. the brain but there, it's there not was, quite it was always there because I always was hustling doing some sort like print t-shirts and selling stuff for my dad and it was like doing door can like, it was, I'd always worked. work ethic was there work Aye. ethic was Aye. there but the actual whole kind of crafting a business wasn't quite there no never near it like right. never near it and me and Sam thought because we are world kickboxing champions and professional boxer people are going to come to me as because We've got status. Mm. In reality, there's a flying fuck here. Yeah, like, know. you need to give them value mm. in business for them to exchange the legal tender if you want or create that energy um, off for energies and frequencies and shit. Like, but 
that's you need to give them value before they pay you. Mm-hmm. But should being a world champion, provides zero value. Yeah, as an individual, ah, you might feel proud of yourself and that raise your chest up, but for Joe Bloggs walking down the street, right? Nothing to it. Sally, she's right. wanting to lose a couple of pound of weight. No. She's not giving her a fine fuck. Your old aye, did you say hi to her when she walked into the class? Did you? Aye. Did you ask how their day was? Are you aye. showing care for their life? No. Like that's that's what no. I mean. It's like no, I'm 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 world champion. Come here. Come. Aye, come. come here. I saw it. No, but then no business. Then. Yeah. But then no business. But we're doing all right. Like, right, you know, And then the but the old was his castle. It was cold and as far as the business is concerned, and I'm still pulling by the fights. So we're, we're talking about the money and the fights, so that was fine. I got a couple of, so my, then for the biggest title fight, business is doing really good, to be fair, at this point, right. Right? I don't need boxing, business is fine, right, I thought, Sean McGoldrick for the biggest title, lost the majority of the decision, like, kicking myself actually, looking back at it, oh really, could have done more, do you not press as much, or was no, it the game plan just to could have different? pressed more, mm-hmm. 100% could have, and that majority decision, majority decision means two scored it to him, and one scored it a draw, right. one scored it to him by a round, ah, right, one scored right. it a draw, and one gave me four or five rounds, right? You wouldn't have argued with a draw. You wouldn't have argued if I got it. You wouldn't have argued if he got it. It was. It was that close a fight. It, it was a shit fight. Was it? Could have done more. Mm. Could have done more. Like now you're looking back now retired. Can't you feel like fuck? Master. Mm. Coulda woulda shoulda. Like if I'm more like a black man, I wouldn't be white. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, that's just that's just how it is. Like I didn't. So deal with that shit. So that was twelve and a half grand to go for that fight. Um, that was my biggest payday as such. And I can buy a couple of, you know, four after that actually. A couple of donkeys. Aye. Because the momentum was lost again. Aye, I mean, right. back up and fighting that. And that was, that was, that was the last time I got beat. Actually, because I won five rounds back in the bounds. Five rounds, five fights back in the bounds. Mm-hmm. Um, stopped a kid. St Andrews, Little Boy Ravens Craig, then East School Bride fight. Fight before that as well. Aye, so... And then my, my last fight, East School Bride, I done Shining Grand in tickets, done all right in ticket sales. Every their supporters and that done great and that. And I was in for wages at the end of it. I m- remember like uh, going back. So I, I fought Lee McGregor, ten grand, right? And then I goes back to fight Mark Leach. Mark Leach was the most awkward bastard I've ever fought. That has that needs more credit in boxing than what he's actually got. How come? How good he is? Really? Yeah. To to what opportunities he's had He's oh, not right. A bit right. like myself But I put it out there mm. He's just A quiet guy Different character right there. They, You see if he's a character like me <coughs> He would have been a world champion mm-hmm. Like But then Like that He Till the end of his career I don't know if he's retired now or not But he was A gatekeeper Which is so hard to see Like Because I fought him He'd only lost one 20 fights One defeat And The one defeat I think his first or second fight It was a gentleman that beat him actually So oh, right. I don't know what had happened, I didn't ask him, but you couldn't help me a bag of fucking rice. Like, really? I was, it was just so slippery and it was here and it was there and it was like, and to be fair, like, I'd lost in a uh, majority of the decision as well. Round four or five, he knocked me down. The only time I've been legitimately on the canvas and it was a pure flash knockdown that was shit. I was, he was super and he was awkward as fuck, switch hitting, it was just, it was really good and sharp. I had stepped in Right on, and my two feet met, and he's just bang his uppercut. Nothing. Nah, so not, none two gloves, your legs, uh, two gloves touched in, I jumped back up straight away, but because nah. I punched landed, and I gloves touched. Points. If he wanted to, I'm like, fuck. See, if I didn't get the count, or the knockdown, I would have won the fight, man. Aye. And that was a British title, out there. So you're thinking, fucking hell. You can't even get the, pay, the points back to Bastard. get the floor down, because it's so awkward. Yep, yeah. so, and it was, and it was, so he, then went on to win British title out, right, and then he fought for European, the weight above, and he get clipped and then I matched him and, and which Eddie Hearn and then Frank Warren had fed them to Lions essentially they up and coming Olympians that mm. were sharper than him just and then get knocked out and stuff like that and it's a shame actually because he's really 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 shit hot Aye. so I fought him so Lee McGregor 10 grand fought and get beat from Mark Leach and Gav I'm a big mate like, if, if you know Gav he's you know why we are like we are good mates like business and that Together now as well, but he's he's mad as a brush and he just tells cunts how it is. Like, I just fucking love him. <laughs> and I go to my wages and I ask him in envelopes like that. Thick. Recently, you're talking about oh, this is Mark Leach. This is Mark Leach, this one, is right? years back, right? 
it's a push for that one to so you go into it. Go into it, right, after Lose it. on this and fighting McGregor in the, the September of 2019. No, no, sorry. McGregor was the June of 2019 and the September was Mark Leach. Went to Mark Leach and... Oh, so did, did you... So the two fights then? Aye, so oh, right. I'm lost, lost with McGregor then. I fought Leach and beat Leach, right, when he's in the, the dressing room such like, gutted and that, fucking... Aye. Close enough fight, but gutted and they get it. If it wasn't for the knockdown, I would have, and it was like, fuck. And envelopes are sizing the way he's big gaff, like, he's fucking brilliant, the last comes in. And... Kerry and him was, I mean, Gaff says, that fucking better not be his wages. <laughs> You're having a fucking laugh and she's only the messenger, she's not the guy that's paying it. So, um, yeah, unlucky Scott and, I said, unlucky Scott, please tell me that's not his fucking wages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suddenly out of my head. Hey, look, just leave us alone. <laughs> no, I fucking I love it, I, I, don't know, I fucking love it. She's like redneck. No, I'm, I mean, what's actually about that? It's fucking terrible. That is fucking out of order. I couldn't tell it. It was like it's about one hundred pound or whatever it was. This is fuck. That's a kick in teeth. Aye, that's massive. Okay, aye, aye, yeah. Smash and low. Same rounds. Same other one. Mm. You still need to prep the training. The exact same. Aye, it doesn't change. Twelve mm. rounds is like you do whatever. Like and it's then that fuck all. And that was it. And then Mark Leach then with um, COVID and that hit and all that shit happened. Then I went to Ped Lynch for training. My dad says um, that's always a, an influence in their career. When it came out, it was Lawrence Murphy before Ped Lynch. Lawrence was Lawrence was great, but for me, Ped was the man. See, I met Ped at the start of my career. See, when it came to when I didn't fall away for um, Peter Harrison, he just really stopped about older and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's about the time of the train. And one of them was then. So Peter trained you to I, begin with, right? To be the Scottish Charlie Parvin trained us originally. Um, Charlie's a fucking great guy, man. Like, he's something to look up to, something I started boxing with. I really do look up to him. Then he was just, just uh, too old. Like, I'm no fat enough to have pads in that for you, so mm. let's spread your wings and go back. So, Peter Harrison, Sam was always there, always, mm. always involved. And then after Peter, it was Lawrence, for a couple of years. And then Lawrence, but when it came to me with Lawrence Murphy, it was the time between Peter and Lawrence, there was a gap, and my dad said, let's try. Ped Lynch. Where, did, where was his name coming from? Like, why was Willie it? Willie Lemond. Right. With two choices, I go my Ped or Lawrence. And I just went because Willie went and I looked up to him and wrong decision. Again, Lawrence was great. I but nothing against him, yeah. Me and Ped just jailed. Mm-hmm. Like, we just sees. And funny you say that, like, because Ped had the persona of me, like, I was an arsehole. Aye, man. He, he laughed at me. Like, I, I, he's like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why yeah, I, know, I know money's money and all that, but I don't I, know if I can be arsed to him. <laughs> I, essentially, that. I, and, yeah, we, we joke about that even now. Like, we joke about like, fuck it, that's, I wasn't going to train you until your dad said, oh, listen, can do see what's what. Yeah. We just gelled. It was like, fuck. And I'd say, this is, this is great. What was the difference? What, what's what you. The hard work, the timing, the, the, the knowledge. Really, I was stuck in a bag. Bag works part of the boxing. Mm-hmm. It is part of it. Like, but I'm mean, a hands-on pad type guy and stuff. Like, I was training once in the day and crashed the bag and going hitting pads with Sam at night because I wasn't there. Missing hitting the pads. I wasn't there. So we paid it was all pads. And Jesus Christ, this is fucking first session pads just to get a feel for each other. And the second session pads again. Third session pads again. Real deal. Fourth session pads again. <laughs> fucking hell, Sam. Like levels to this game. Fucking. Mm. And I'm like, wish, a wish because. I would have won the British. Mm. Most likely, I would have won the European. Aye. 100%. I was going to, the, so the question I had for you here, because obviously you're retired from it, kind of looking back, what's the one biggest difference that you would make? Didn't they train me paid earlier? You think it was the training? That's it. Yeah. Staying off the drink before I did as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Absolutely. I've been sober now, past two years now, like best decision I've made. Period. And what was the drink and alcohol side of things doing? To you during that period that you can. Oh, it was, it was, it was. Because you've always been pretty dialed. Aye, I, I always dialed in, always. Like, but it was like when I wasn't fighting, I was going to the weekend. Right. Every weekend, like no coming to fucking three, four, five, six, seven in the morning. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what it's like in a in our day and age, your weekend of drinking recreational drugs. It was like 
at the time it's all good and it's all fucking great and the high and it's a dopamine high aye yeah. the dopamine like you're sitting with people that you think it's your pals you think oh yeah go on in one mayor fuck it go on in one mayor you're like Jesus Christ it's 8 in the morning like what the fuck am I doing my life mm. it, when was the realisation for you of that mm. the 30th party I had then woke up and that was it I woke up it's turning 30 I just fuck I woke up with a fucking I said that's me Oh, I strikes up. Oh, oh, done my drinking hand. She says, "Aye." I say, "Yep." I don't do me. She says, "What?" I say, "Aye." Not doing it anymore. I'm like, just not doing it. Like the drinking. I was never a big recreational drug um, taker, but I you get caught in it. When I you, only when speak about it now, mm -hmm. like because it's all right. Like, when somebody looks up to me in this game, mm -hmm. oh, oh, fuck! How did Scott think about this? Scott doesn't care. Scott's done it. Mm -hmm. Like the recreational, the recreational drug scene. Like, and I done a video like. I was got to date a, a year sober and I never had a shit myself. Thinking of judgment. Aye, aye, aye. Why the people got, he's got to take drugs and they're like, I said, fuck. Scottish upbringing. Aye. And then it was like two years and I fuck this. I didn't ask them, man. Didn't ask them, I didn't ask them, I stopped to charge the fucking hairdryer of a car. Hey, Tesla, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> charge my hairdryer. Fucking bastard, it won't get halfway. Aye. And I've done a wee video listening, it is alright, like, to get caught in it that. Psycho and shit, and but then the minute you don't drink or you take any extra drugs, your two pals come out. Yeah, like how often does my phone ring now? Do my phone ring at the weekend? And what was it for? Were you like, I don't know, what what type of person were you in that in that circle? Was it because you had a bit of fame, a bit of backing? Way probably. Anywhere, or was it just like a mixture of all? A mixture of all. The arrogance and it's like nice to be around people who all want to Aye. be the boys and all that sort of Aye. stuff, right? Aye. Like, so like that, that. kind of makes sense. Like you, so you started like your boxing career, still in that, missed of that, Aye. and that's maybe why you faced in the fit as much. You think, Aye. So you can always see, like you, you see it in fighters now. Aye. It's like man, he would be a great fighter if he didn't love a sesh, didn't love a yep. party, and that. Yep. You can Aye. have a couple of names already. Aye. Hundred percent. Um, so they're the two biggest things then. Yep. I and then that from me, I he up drink and not train my pet from mm. leaving Peter Allison. Like the uh, Craig Martin tire trained me Pet. Trained me he trained with me with Peter. Right. And then this Peter they just like weird, they just stopped. There's no such right no training where it's just like don't be generous there. Can you find somebody else? Oh, right. I think Craig I think we need My my it's fine, I my she hurt nothing. That was it. Craig yeah. went to Ped, which Craig's one of the most gifted fighters. Gifted fighters ever. He just didn't have the balls. Oh, really? Really. Like, what does that look like, like, to be able to get see, in a ring? See, or? no, no, he fought in the ring, but he just didn't show up. Like, see if Craig had my arrogance. Let's have a fight, buddy. He would be world champion. You look at him in the gym, he's, he's not trained in years, like, but you look at him in the gym, and he's just, he shapes up beautifully, like, he's got all the moves in sparring. He's sparring guys two and three and four weight to find him movement in. Just fucking learn them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, and I said to him numerous times in the gym, numerous times, I said, Craig, get on Twitter, get on Instagram, get on social media and call these guys out. Mm. You're unbeaten. Like, mm. fight these guys. You are so naturally talented. We've had this discussion. Numerous times prepared. Mm. Pay that wish. I had his talent. Mm. Like, talent you can't buy. You can't, you can't, like, he's got it. Some people have just yeah. got it. He's one of the people. Genetic potential. He's one of the people. Interesting. I would have loved to have seen him. He's no boxing anyway, he's, uh, he's chucked it, but most naturally talented fighters mm. I've seen. Amazing. Actually, so he went with Ped and I then went with Lawrence and him. Obviously, years down the line, we've rekindled and we're back in the gym and stuff like that. We're training in my gym and it was just, it was great. It was great buzz. You had me, you had Kieran Smith, you had um, Craig McIntyre, you had a cut of amateur boys that Ped was training there. You've now up and coming, you've got Marcus Sutherland, he's going to be a superstar in boxing. Like, you've got all these guys, that are, they're all winners. In the gym, like we're all winning together, and it's like rubbing off each other, and like look at that. Now you got Reese Lynch, that's Ped's brother, Commonwealth gold medalist, like superstar, like the gym's for of superstars, and this is a buzz, man. Yeah. Like this is a buzz. So he's paid training from your place, since that where he's got aye, these kind of home. Aye, there. So aye. that must be quite cool to kind of see, kind of give him back and that sort that of is. thing. So I'm going to help yeah. Ped in the corners now, like and give him a. I'm not going to give him a hand as such as training. Maybe some wee circuits here and there, but other he's he's not able to make yeah. it, but. Being a, a spit boy, it's not like me. Like just for ped, like it's I 
Like, did, you wait, did you want to repay a debt to him? Because I'd, I'd seen, like, you're praising that, that you give him, like, it, it obviously has meant a lot to you to it have has. him in your corner. It absolutely has. And it's no... He's so selfless. Mm. Turns up to train on his birthday, his Wayne's birthday, his wife's birthday. To train, to train guys, it's no pain and fuck all. Mm. 10%, that's what trainers get. Aye, so I, I was going to say like he doesn't, what? It's, not if, it's not as if you pay him monthly It's like if you fight on Aye. payday like Aye. That's where maybe he gets a bit of a kickback So my last fight Let's fucking jump fast forward to all these I got my last fight I've done the most tickets I've done in my life right? One final hurrah like, Final hurrah Cheers, cheers Boxing Federation Aye. And what I've done for the sport Aye, so I had, I had I then Obviously it was my last fight in the UK But I had that fight lined up with Avadari Even Avadari fight The money was shite I think he showed the money Holy oh, fucker Beautiful <laughs> I was getting seven and a half thousand dollars. Aye. That's no pounds, that's dollars. What's that? Six grand, maybe? Mm. Right. You think fucking two? Title fighting, though. Aye. Well. Big one. Six grand, then you've got your 35% to come after that. That's fuck all. Anyway, back to your bride's fight, because that one didn't happen. Poor tickets. Commission's all good on that. And I can't take my wages. I love you. It's an Andrews Club. She haunts me. I said, I would. Hope these are Hunter Bills in here. What you having? <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking that. I didn't even count it. I signed the. I signed the paper, it was £1,200. Mm. I'm thinking, holy fuck. Jesus Christ. And Ped never never takes his money. You literally, you get, Ped gets an envelope, you get an envelope, you literally need to put it in his bag. You know, that's how selfless I is. He's taking his money that he's fucking, really? he's training for you. Mad. Why? Why is it like... I don't know. He's he just, just such a it. nice eye. Mm. Like he's loves the sport. Which is mad. It's a sport I fucking hate to love. <laughs> I hate the fucking thing. Mm. I'm so lovely. Like, mm. even now... It's done. Right. It's like a love hate relationship. Fuck me, man. Sour. It's like a bad ex. Mm. He's eating back. Because <laughs> <laughs> the sex was good. Like, fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't my voice nesting. Don't want to like him. No fuck. But in the, that, that's what it is. And he takes his money in that. He's got a nice job, but still, that's not even, that's not even the point. He's going to his job, 95, 96. He's coming to the gym, 60 fucking 8. Aye, he's putting in that. Time he's waiting, his family. He's, for us. It's the most selfless guy that I know. Mm. Incredible. So I get back, I can get some money in. I get peds, fucking pennies. I get my twelve hundred pound. I've seen for this is fuck. I love you. My last fight and they might have done in tickets. I was expecting a wee bit more than that. I was expecting a good drink. Like that's and she's thanking me. Well, thanks for sending as many tickets as what you did and that. This is it weighs and that. You've given a hell to show up. I said, I'm hanging on. I'll do a rate more on tickets. I'll do more than wages. No, I'd never mind fault. I should have asked what I'm paid for this fight and all that. Oh, so you didn't even aye, because it nah. wasn't in your mind. It's no, you're I did, I, the title fight for, in Abu Dhabi. Aye, and even that, like the, the money I'm making in the martial arts scenes. Aye, it's like different. stupid money. It's not stupid money, but it's different to stupid money for <laughs> what I was making. Aye. Like, I'm doing really well with myself in my life now. Then it goes and for a quid, my like, fuck's sake. This is fucking bullshit, man. It goes him and couldn't it. There wasn't twelve hundred pound in there. There was a grand. <laughs> Not two two hundred. The bumders. <laughs> the bumders. I texted her that night. Fucking one in the morning. You're fucking done there. <laughs> fucking beauty. Who who decides it? Ah, uh, your manager. Right. Right. So emotion. It's an Andrew Sporting Club decides. So between him and the board to kind of. No, the like, board don't fuck up the bit. The board right, right. like the board just sanctioned the bouts. Mm -hmm. The board not to do it. Right. The right. wages yes. done by the manager and the boxer essentially work together. And, what are you doing tickets and what? Like, so is there like an event coordinator that then kind of works with them and aye. right? Okay, aye, like it's the whole background stuff, but the events and stuff. And aye, that's it's a full production. And listen, I run shows myself with aye, the kickboxing you know box, so I understand the business side of it. Like, don't for one minute forget that. Mm -hmm. Like, when some of the guys are doing really well tickets, they will get a few mm -hmm. extra bongs in their, their um, wee bits because it's important. They're, they're doing you well. How, aye, and I think that's maybe where the could be a disconnect. Like, yep. you've experienced it firsthand, so you can put yourself in the fighter's shoes. I but he knows. I, so I understand both mm. sides. My manager essentially knows both sides. So I know it's like running shows. Quite often, sit down, like, Ian's a multi-millionaire. He doesn't do boxing for money either. He just does it for love. Yeah. But I was expecting to made a lift from what I got. Mm. Didn't he? So... Uh, so there's another kick in the teeth for bah, 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 you know, yeah. I'm at the top table, actually, on Thursday. Um, and that's like our praising my retirement such to the DS and the sporting club and special guests and all that and the top table guests I'm going to be in the top table on Thursday 
Um, oh, that's pretty cool then. Aye. So, because it one thing we never talked about is like you didn't get interviewed after the fight, which oh, I thought I seen nah, everybody else get interviewed. Else and I was like, the zone, I was like, what the fuck, the zone and that would have been on. a good wee tick the box here. Wee bit Aye. of fame. Well, if we can get in there, what the fuck do you want, Mama Dabby? <laughs> yeah, they're like, do yeah, not right. put, <laughs> do not put him on. Don't kind stick him on. Any that's swear, why. maybe like, can I be better? A bit shady again. Does my face fit? No, it didn't. Mm. Like, but I still chip by and don't have to do. Mm. And then like now, now essentially it's it's boys deep in business now. Like the boxing part of that is. That chapter's closed now. That identity, like as much as it's Harley, I still come out with my boxing t-shirts and that. And you'll very, I'm talking about who they are, but you'll very really see me in known rivals clobber, rival buys in the back. Like it's that's my proper identity. But the boxing, the boxer identity, like, like the past few weeks have been a bit lost. Mm. Like I've I've gained a substantial amount of weight. It doesn't maybe look that way, right? But I, I have in the scales and the the look in my body. I'm Still relatively lean, but know what I was. And then you think, what's the drive now? What's the, what are you training for? Yeah, because you, you, especially the last couple of years, you were always, I'm going to stay kind of leanish or fight ready all year round just mm-hmm. in case, because that was the character that you had. It's like, right. I want to make sure that I'm getting this record. I've got this dream of getting to this goal. And then we all, we all, I got it. See, when I got this place, this was mm. a five year goal. And then when you invited me to a Roman, said, Here, do you want, do you want a half? It's like, <laughs> I got that goal within a year. Aye. And I was like, What did they know? I was like, Fuck, I've yep. got my, I, I need to get to one. I need to set a standard. I need yep. to set something. Yep. Um, what's been the craziest thing going through your mind then since retirement? In Fuck. terms of being lost? Like, what, what's your purpose now? Like, what? What's my biggest drive? Because even when I was boxing, I was still heavily changing people's lives through my business, my martial arts school, mm-hmm. heavily. So the purpose, my my cup was full. It was a brim, mm-hmm. my fulfillment cup. I'm doing what I love. I'm doing what I'm changing people's lives. I'm, yeah. I'm full. Like you're, now, you're also in the sport selfishly for like, the goal that so you have. Th- that's half now. Because I'm not in the sport anymore. My cup's still full. Like I'm not on the floor coaching mm-hmm. anymore. I've got a wicked team that do all that shit for me. Like, but there's a piece of the pie missing. There is. Aye. Like, mm. now, the selfishness of me is missing, I think. Like, I, I joked. I said I joked. I've touched on it with my wife for a while. I said, I'm going to get fucking bodybuilding after this. Or Need some sort of drive. type some stuff. Or, like, she says, oh, you can't even have bodybuilding. I can. I'm in fucking aesthetically. I'm pleasing, like you know, like <laughs> I can just lift some weights and throw weights about and that. And ah, but it's all that fake dance shit. I said, okay, I'm only that. The high rock stuff then, like so, like. I think this is an important conversation, though, because you're you're right. You're you're fulfilling your purpose. Um, look after family, number mm-hmm. one. Make sure you and your relationships and all that sort of stuff are are sound, and you're a good role model for um your kids. Next one. Business aspect, right. he's doing incredibly well there. Goals are set in both these fields, yep. and then there's a part of the cup that is that I think then definitely needs to be a bit of selfishness. You yep. need to have a bit of like, what is a goal for you? For like putting all that aside, like because mm-hmm. you're in a fortunate position where it's like, like cool. What what are you doing for you? And what you've done for eleven years of your life has had something there. Always um, had something, and I think that's okay. where the flat there's a f- bit of flatness that yeah. comes with. Even even, even as, as Stephen said to me about setting that next goal, like the next goal set in business. Mm. Like myself, and my brother have set this goal. We're gonna have ten locations. I'll just tell you straight, we have ten ten locations mm-hmm. between the next twenty four months. I'll have ten. We set a goal. Down. We set right. a goal five year, right? Five year and ten locations, but we're smashing at the back. Like, right. Fucking, we're, what's the hold up? Rim this, I know. Uh, yeah, before your time was like I had to get dedicated towards a sport so you Aye. you've got this extra uh, leeway in the in the now time you've, that you've now got. Now you've got for there we've now got um all in the business. Like the business was fucking doing really well. Mm-hmm. Me being in the thirty percent of the time. Mm-hmm. That's a lie because Sam's in there mm-hmm. there thereabouts he's in amongst the chaos. Mm-hmm. But as such like Sam's if you know Sam he no talk to you. Sometimes it just he's, it just does his me hang. He's actually social sometimes. It doesn't like yeah, people pleasing. Intro, introvert. Aye, I yes, yes. But I want to get Sam on actually. Like, and get um, inside. Just, but for me, I could just sit in the room with Sam. Like us two sitting in the room with a computer working, 
on the phone, doing whatever. Like, mm. it's great. It's brilliant. I love that. The energy that we beef key each other. I am the very much out there person as he's the in there person, which is just fucking great. Like, phenomenal, actually. It's always something I look up to and, like, in their own ways, and I'm sure he'll be the same in me in some other ways. Mm. But as it's somebody like, even last night on the phone to him, just, I was on the phone to him last night for stuff that I already know the answer to, but I just wanted to. Need your brother's assurance. Somebody else right? to say, aye, that's the answer. Sounding board. Aye, you've, you've, you've knocked that in the head. Mm. I need a sounding board. Aye, Aye, so yeah, we all need that. He's that man. To be fair, it's his. He's uh, telling that aside. So, business was doing really well. Sam is now much sitting that. And, like, now it's. Again, best time we joined the mastermind. A few years, uh, over two years ago, that's year number three. And it's like the best thing we've done. Like, and we spoke about that just obviously before the podcast. You can be in the rooms with all these successful entrepreneurs, millionaires, multi millionaires, etc. But if you're not taking any action to that, mm. like you can read all the books. You can read fucking your rich dad, poor dad, your Alex Ramosi stuff. Like they're phenomenal books. I yeah, fire you up, but, but if you what don't action are you taking for that? Implement it. Like what stuff? I like. Mm. Where are you going? Like what's your goals? What's your plans? Like who are you looking up to? Because you've looked at your life that's doing better than you. It's looking up to you. They'll never go to look down you and see you're doing shit ever. Mm. I'll never look down somebody that's starting a martial arts gym. Up. I think you're so. What are you doing? That's never going to work. Are you like? What's going to work? I'll buy it. <laughs> you want a partner? You want aye, a franchise? Aye, aye. <laughs> you need the money. I'll, I'll get the money. Like, let's, let's fund this shit. Let's, let's stack these buildings high. Which is like, so a lot of this entrepreneur type stuff has always been there. But joining my mastermind, it was like identified that there's bigger people in the rooms. Ego aside, you think you're the man, you're the dog's box, right? but you've got the guy that's got four. Five, six gyms. It's almost like when you're boxing, you get punched with the Aye. levels to the game. Like, fuck, man. Aye. So this is this is probably where you had the decision. Like, yep. do I continue that pursuit? or And I think this is where your cup was maybe 30% full for boxing. Yep. And the rest of it meant that you had to take that energy away mm-hmm. from business, away from family. And it's like, I don't think I'm, I'm wanting to do Aye, that. I, I don't love it that much. Nah, even, even now that I've first retired, like, I'm taking the kids to their... Activities, activity being kickboxing number one. Like, I'd, that's cool. Aye. Mm. Like, oh, what if, what if the wings don't want to kickbox or that? And says, well, they've got two choices. They can get they, kicked. No, no, <laughs> two choices. They can be a southpaw. They can be off the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. I just that's right. They're, they're gone. Right, they're guy. gone. Um, and taking me to swimming and taking me dancing and taking me gymnastics and no worrying. Oh fuck! Oh, fuck! I'm taking. Used to be the case. Yeah. Me, like, Gymnastics, mum, do my fair. Please, can you pick me up? I'm training next to bed. And like, it's not real. How's your gymnastics, darling? Like, do you do? Do you do anything exciting? Like, tell me stuff about your day. It's just normal for them Aye. to be rushed. No, they're not getting rushed. Aye, it's like, yeah. I, I don't write that. I think people need to hear that because people are, people have that luxury just now. And it's like, oh, I want, I want Scott's life or I want this millionaire's life or I want a successful person's life. And it's like, you, you look at who would rather trade price and money money's obviously a thing that we all money's pursue and all that but the things that kind of keep you whole and the things that keep that cup full is those little moments yep. I love it when you put up your stone and you're like Emila what's it, what, what does he say in the, on the drive to school it's like a positive affirmation of some sort I, I, I fucking love that I think that's great if, if you can be anything today what do you be be nice Aye, I and, love that but say it to two kids every, every single morning I mean, I know it gets the bus to school, but I say it there before she goes to school. If you be a t- darling, what do you be? Nice daddy, great. And please, can you remind me what integrity means? It's doing the right thing when nobody's watching. Like, yeah. it's like, I think bumps like even think yeah. that, because like, they know they're properly taught in the house. Everyone's learnt decisions. Mm. Everyone's learnt behaviour, so I know the decision. Everyone's, if your ch- kids are wee wanks, it's you that's taught them to be the wee wank. Mm. Like, subconsciously or not, mm. like, how are you... It's when, what they see. It's when they see. you drive the motor, you in the cut the fingers. Ah, oh, you fucking dick. Aye. Go do that. Someone cut shaft and road rage. Like aye. hardest places to be patient. In aye, the car. aye. And your kids are watching. Mm. You're arguing with your spouse, your wife. Your kids are watching. Mm. I, I hate arguing in front of the kids. I hate it. Mm. Any household be there. I'm not going to sit here and buy big boys. I don't argue. Yeah. Me and we've argued frequently, <laughs> like more than most. Yeah. But it gets squashed in my. Back to being that loving mother and father, and such, but it's finding the place to actually be able to voice. I hate that, the even, concerns. even that, yeah, like, yeah. even with the kids, I say, No, 
which cracks up ways and that, just stop shooting this the way there. Like Aye. fucking something and Circle back to us. <laughs> stop fucking shooting at me, the way's there. Fuck! It's just elevating it, man. I'm going to see my chickens, that's how I'm going. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm getting in front of the chickens. Aye, so it's uh, like getting to spend time with my kids. My wife now, like, she's pregnant again. She's we'll get kid five on the way between us. Um, I've got two biological daughters, two stepsons, but I'm really praying to fuck that I'm getting a boy. <laughs> like, selfish, I know. Like, completely know. With Sophia, like, Sophia's mommy, I was a bit upset it wasn't a boy. With Amelia, I wasn't a bother. How like, old were you with your first kid? 24, I think. Right, aye. And you're peaking your peak aye, life of, aye. like... Gone out and aye. all that sort of stuff. Aye, so right. 24. What did they go? Aye, aye, 24. 24, 25. And Amelia was a few years after that. Two years between them. Aye, 27. And then, obviously, this one on the way. So I said, I, I joked, seven seat and more. We may as well fill the other seat, darling. She says, aye, we may as well, aye. I said, aye, just. Half your pill will fill that seat up, but let's just see what I'm saying. <laughs> and the dad? She says, are you serious? I says, aye, I think I'm a boy. Like, it's my if it's no. I'll buy an eight seat and go again. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to keep going. She says, no, no, I'm genuinely done after this. Like, genuinely done. Mm. I'm not having, like, I would love. You're looking up all these things, like. I would love a boy. I love a wee boy. Well, ham, probably not, right? But, like. I know you're I know my luck. It probably won't. And. It's the only thing that can keep the Alan name going because Sam's got two, yeah, two yeah, girls. Yeah. His children's are through surrogacy, so it's Aye. they're not going to have any more. I know that they're really like because the last that's in the surrogacy, she said that she's done and yeah. they'll not go MDL because the, the, the there's that bond there and stuff like that. So the only person that's going to keep the Alan name on is hopefully if, of the, this next child. Hopefully, me. Mm. <laughs> it gives me a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Kay's laughing. Do you think Amelia would probably ask the, the man to take that name? I said, aye. And she probably See, be would honest, get away with it. She's going to be a wee killer. Aye. She is actually. Like, seeing how aye. she has grown up with it. Because you um seen her at the boxing and all that sort of stuff. She like, loves it. Hilarious. She loves it. And aye. that's just like, I get Sophia three days out of the seven. She doesn't like the boxing. No, I don't know. She's two different Hard people. Balance, aye. aye. Two different like, behaviours as well. Most of the gym talking about box. I'm most in the house talking about box, talking about box, talking yeah, about this. It's your whole life. They yeah, know like, it's the business side of it, and like, how hard is it to balance a like a, a split parenthood? Because obviously, growing up at the start, it's like at the for start what, for whatever reason that breakup is because whatever's happened, right? And not having the self awareness that you have now, the the vision, being in these rooms with all these different people, so I'm like, fuck, I need to make sure I'm there, mm -hmm. and we are still co-parenting. To the certain thing, but I'd, I'd say that is, I'd say that doesn't matter what happens in my life. I don't want to miss any big event for my kids, even in the wee events like Parents Night. I want to be there, mm. even the wee tiny ones like Parents Night. I know that's not a big thing to some parents, I know, right? But see, seeing your wee kid, like last Parents Night, um, Sophia's mum was there, it was only me, but see, looking at her, it's Sophia and talking to the teacher, and her smile, and I have to say, like, she's doing well, it's like. Be a proud moment, like, and I said to myself, and that's probably because my dad wasn't at these events for me because he was out working, mm. out working, doing the stuff. So I'd made a, I'd made a pact to myself that I'm not missing these events. I'm no, I don't recall my dad taking me to the park ever, mm. like ever. I take my kids to the park quite often because, and, and I don't, core memories. And I don't care if that's, I don't, I genuinely don't care if that's five minutes. I, that's enough. Mm. Like pushing the swings, right? Like, let's go. Like, do you have fun there at the park? I, it's never only five minutes, but you get the gist to what I'm saying. Like, I'm not miss him with the kids. So try to be present with the kids whilst performing a high level of athlete and operating a, a multi structural entrepreneur business, right? of multiple locations in the mm -hmm. the gym industry is like, fuck's sake, where am I finding the time? Mm -hmm. Now I've got my time back. It's like, what's next? Mm -hmm. What am I doing next for me? Because Making the money, like the money's great. Mm. I'm doing really well financially. Well, there's only one thing they can go with business: more locations, more money, more staff, and it's just yeah, okay, and more problems, more but headaches. You've, you've, such you've already found like a. I don't think we ever solve this. It's like your health no. and fitness. You're always working on it. Your relationship. You're always working on it. Um, 
with the business. It's just it's just going to grow and grow and grow. And it it probably doesn't. I was talking about. I think David Goggins talks about this. I've said this in an older podcast. He wishes he could go back to that first run that he done. Yep. You wish you could go back to the first time you stepped foot in the ring because mm-hmm. the second third time you get more confident. <clears throat> feeling inside you're like oh I don't get that same buzz yep. same when you when you open uh, opened up Udinson I bet you that was a buzz but I bet you didn't feel as exciting as it did We School Bride well We School Bride was about a shit show when it was opening up because aye. of the water damage and aye, everything and the break-ins and all that sort of stuff I'm going to go as far to say Udinson was a bit more exciting than the rest oh really? because we took a different approach to it right okay Marky so there it is, is that's the newness that's the newness so the it? newness of that but Location five wrongs will do what them for location four because it worked swimmingly well. Mm-hmm. Like collected a lot of cash up front without mm-hmm. actually coaching a class. Mm-hmm. Essentially breaking even before signing them up, which yeah. like businesses can't do that shit. Takes years to get your investment back type stuff. Cut it short, um location five won't be exciting. Mm-hmm. Because I know a copy it's a numbers game. Aye. It's a numbers game. And we mean all being on the floor. There's not that much connectivity. Mm. I could tell Santa Arabs as such, but that connectivity of like the purpose that we're talking about, like the higher level. I am so for me, I am changing, I'm the head figure of changing hundreds, if not thousands of people's lives. But it's not me that's on the player that's doing it. It's mm. me that's coaching the coaches stuff to coach them on how to improve their life and stuff like that. So it's like if I'm a cup we we get into Locations every other night or whatever, whatever it suits. Mm. Coaching class, go and sit down, I'll coach the class for you. And not one, not one of my staff will say, Oh no, I'm, it's my class. If I walked in any location, say, I'm going to get a class, all right, yeah. I would always ask because I'm very ego driven as such, like if, and probably a masculine energy that comes across. I used to hate, like in Bushel, Bushel headquarters, like right? it's my breathing butter as such. I used to hate being in the gym. When I employ a member of staff to coach a kickboxing class or a boxing class or something like that, that I know that I could do it better. Mm. It's a hard. But I'm paying him to do it. Aye, it's a hard. My masculine energy would come in and I would critique technique and adjust things and that's not my place to do that. Aye. It's not my class. I'm paying you to do that class. Like if I'm paying you to do that class, I think I could do better. I'm not fucking do it myself. Uh, yeah, you're, you, you're stuck in that entrepreneurial trap. Aye. It's like, why do I But I need to just do what the next right thing for me is. Let go. Aye. Just let it be. Mm-hmm. And and have that have that work with the staff and doing other things and like but I need something to push myself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, mm-hmm. financially. Like what can mm-hmm. what can we press it on? Competitive. Aye. So we've signed up for High Rocks together. Yeah, it'll be good fun. Like good fun. Um, training will start. Well, I've got my event this weekend, so training will start next week. We'll get Aye. a plan drafted and have some dear. fun with it. Aye, I'm, I'm excited about that. Like, we smash all these men, I'll just <laughs> punch fucking cunts can buy. Can they show us now? Aye, well, you're like, this is no contact. Might, might get disqualified, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kick the cunts ball when he's in one ball squat. It's really a cunt thing. <laughs> no, it's good fun. So, aye, we get that Manchester at the end of January. Plenty of time for training for yep. I think you are... Um, very interested to see where you where you kind of show up for that sort of Aye. stuff. I think I, I think I'm behind a bit. If I'm being Aye. honest, I think I'm going to need up my running. But I know I'm going to potentially need up my running you're running. Again. Like I, you need to remember, I'm, a lot fucking, I'm a lot lighter. Like no, well, I need oh, I'm, I'm, chip, I'm chipping <laughs> up. Now. I need on a fucking diet Monday. <laughs> what are you sitting at weight wise now? Since since my fight, I'm probably the heaviest I've been. No, probably I am the heaviest I've been in. Like as long as I can remember, I woke up this morning at sixty three point five kilograms. Mm-hmm. Which the heaviest have been sixty three point four. I know it's one hundred grams, like it was nothing. Uh, what's the what's the fight weight again? Fifty three, fifty two, fifty two, fifty three. So like ten kilograms in the past mm-hmm. few weeks is like you think where is it? Where it went? Like it's weird how like not having the the crux or the the goal set, the drive, what that can just date to someone's lifestyle. Yep. And that's the it's quite interesting that you're going down the route of like the. Um, busy parents and all that sort of stuff because it's like right that we can actually help people if there's a goal there's a driver there and also that ties into the martial yep, arts stuff it does um, I definitely think having back on to like dive deeper into what like running a martial arts academy or even just a, a boxing academy especially in this world because it, it's the typical church halls and uh, all that sort of stuff and what you have done with that is it's incredible to even like be a part of it sub 
with the being next door mm-hmm. to you's here. Um, but also known you as a as as friends, and it's mm-hmm. it's a great privilege to see you go through that. One thing then, like if you kind of look back at <coughs> boxing alone, um, I never asked you this last time. Thoughts on the whole influencer boxing side of things? Fucking terrible, mate. Oh, honestly, fuck. do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Horrible, terrible. Horrible. Why? Terrible. Like you've got people that well, let's talk money. People that's making fucking shit tons of money that I couldn't <laughs> fucking make, and I'm fucking good, hey? Pick me, come on! In fact, I'll come back to influence box. That's all day. <laughs> give me a Jake Ball cut. I'll fucking bust them all. Right? Oh, all joking aside, I think it is terrible for boxing. Jake Paul, like you look at Jake Paul, he's actually he can actually box a little bit. Mm. Like, eh, oh, he's worked on. Aye, aye, but but he's worked on it. You've just nailed it. In the head. Mm. He's constantly in the gym. So he's now became a boxer. Is a sub part aye, of it. Aye. aye. But you, these people on like, but they're selling out the M E N Arena, like selling out Manchester Arena with ten thousand or whatever. Think what it's crazy, and they can't even fucking do that. They can't basic jab. Uh, Get you follow like KSI in that? No, nah. you know, no. Nah. KSI's the guy with the guy that aye, Paul Logan. I know, he throws aye, the overhand and all aye. that. Uh, so, shit, he but they're making millions. It's so wrong. Like you could sick uh, easily a prospect in as a professional boxer at one or two and all. And I would smoke all these guys mm. like the more. It's so wrong, and I don't agree. But what do you think of the professional fighters fighting influencers? Then I disagree with that as well, mm. right? Because they're fighting essentially a novice. That professional should for a t- for a, like a, a a glorified clean that uh, person right out. Why are they not? Why do you think they're not? Do you think like, is one obviously there's a if you look at Jake Paul stuff. The age side of things, the types of opponents that he's fighting. And they're Sunday, there's no boxing now. And they're handpicked. He's fighting MMA type guys that are that are past it, man. That's like somebody saying to me in ten year, right, I'm gonna jump back in and fight this guy is twenty five year old, prime. Mm. He's no box, but like prime fitness, like you've got a bunch of chance to fair but Yeah, but it's like it plays on your insecurity because you're like, I can get back in the ring. Yeah. What do you think of the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul? I hope Mike Tyson knocks him clean out. You think he will? Uh, hopefully. Uh, but I think he's been told that he can't. But I don't see that being oh, really? Mike Tyson. So I was going to say, do you think there is co- um, corrupt? Absolutely. In that Even in that? Aye. 100%. Like, there's an extra 10 million. Uh, maybe that level, Mike Tyson level. Probably even there. Do you not <laughs> knock him out? Mm-hmm. Mike Tyson, I don't know if he's skint or not, but previously Aye, he got up. himself shit. Mm-hmm. Like, Mike Tyson fucking tiger. And, <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, my pet tiger. Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> no, I mean, like a madness. Like, and then he got doing the, the drink the drug side of it. Like, and it was, it was actually really bad. We went to Vegas, and I, I'd, I'd met Mike. I've got, a, I've got a Mike Tyson tattoo. Like, and he's, uh, I'm still in the queue, like doing, and he sees it. He's based out. He's tits, mate. I don't know about his own. He was on some sort of wasn't he high? He must have been. Yeah. A, he was fucked. He see my tattoo, and he came up me. Tap my shoulder and all that, and it just give me a big hug. You buzzing? I'm, 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 I'm This <laughs> this is a bear holding me like what, <laughs> monster. Like need to get a picture of that. But that's so fuck. He was shocked and on. Mike Tyson just came right up and hugged you, and everybody else just actually he's on. He's just ignoring him like a wee bastard. Like, it was he's so. Wee world. That's mad. Yeah, absolutely mad. Insane. Aye, and uh, but it was a shame to watch his career go through. He's he's laid back in track now. I I think. Um, yeah, he's definitely done a, a sort aye, of U-turn way aye, things, which is great. But that just goes to show, like the money and fame side, of it, and the people there, like corrupt you. I can, I can. I fuck you, old man. I. Are you? Could you see yourself going down that route if you never went sober? Aye. Yep. Because of the materialistic yep. things, and obviously we're, we're all materialistic aye. to some extent. But looking at that, uh, looking to please other people, and the high like, you go for. You, you see why? Even now, I see why a lot of boxers. Go down after the finished boxing, Ricky Hatton, Joe's Aggies, they still go down the recreational drug abuse and drink abuse. Ricky Hatton was really bad for drink, but no recreational drugs. But after that, it's like you're chasing a high. Because of the hole, like What's you the said, high? You, you felt I, it just for a couple of weeks. What is the high? Aye. Where am I getting? That line of cocaine, your, your endorphins go, you're high, I think, don't worry, it doesn't last, mm. last five minutes. Like, why don't you just jump in a nice bath and like, more, aye, more. aye, it comes out an addiction as such. And saying that then it's that's why you chase that high because there's a missing gap here. Mm. Like, will I ever have a beer again? I don't know. Like, but I know I'm not going to have one a day. Mm. I probably want to have one tomorrow. Take a day at a time. Aye, every day. Then I was never, never an addict by any means. 
But like I most likely will. If I have a boy, I'll get fucking steaming. I have a boy, man. Fuck my wife, she's bothered. <laughs> oh, oh, do you want to say like no? I'm, it's it's one day at a time type stuff. It's it was never a big issue, but it's changed my life for the better, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. Like I've made better financial decisions. I've got a lot of nicer things in my life. My business has literally grew tenfold. How do you do you talk about that with because you are obviously role models to thousands of kids, teens, and even adults? Mm -hmm. Do you use, is you, I know you've done a lot of like charity work with, um, oh, I can't remember, skills to work or something like that. Would you come at roots to work? Yep, yep, um, yep. Have you tried to like bring anything with that, or have you touched on that at all with the bringing that into part in martial arts? No, no, oh, I haven't, but it's something that. I might do actually. I think he's people a lot of people crying out too. On that, mm. that, that that might be the next next cup of steep filled because like I we know what we are employability group called Street League. What Street League is like. Oh that was that that was Street League, yeah. We used to work with lots of two spoke now. Street League's like kids that don't really want to work as aye, such. That was it. I like, remember you telling us about this. Aye. It was Sam that was telling us about this. Which is good and but they're the ones that do it. 15, 16, 17, 18 mm. I mean, the weekend Party and the drinking Take dogs Do whatever day And stuff like that That's in Scotland like, This is This is what we've done mm. Like All your life Like 14 year old You're in the park With a boat with your pals 15 year old like, fucking What's happening here How do you break that cycle That's the normal mm. That is the norm No going to the gym in the morning Smashing it a workout Like whether it be boxing Kickboxing Fitness High rocks Fucking weightlifting Resistance training All sort of like you feel so much better. I, anytime I go to the gym and lift weights, it's like a pure endorphin fucking belling high. Mm. This is brilliant, man. You feel the, the, the muscles pump, the gorge, the veins. You're like, this is, it's addicting as well. I'm fucking... I feel like a Hulk, man. <laughs> look in the mirror. You look next to somebody that's ten times your size. Think, fuck, fuck, fuck. I feel like that. Yeah, I right. that confused, man. Right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, and then that is like... So it's a, it's addictive. So it's finding that purpose and, and mm. just doing it. Mm. Like, so... I've not done any sort of resistance stroke weights training since finishing. Um, It'll be interesting to see you go down that route as I well. I like uh, to see. Now, I want to be a a dual athlete. That if some cunt phones me tomorrow, you want to do a marathon? I will do a marathon. Yeah, you are you are perfect for this hybrid movement. Aye. you heard it. Aye. Aye, so it's like the lift weights and the run. Now there's there's two sides to the coin, right? Yep. So it's like you're shy at lifting weights and you're average at running. But the the hybrid always you're good at lifting weights and you're good at running. But the people there's like bodybuilders or power lifters, like what are you worry about a hybrid athlete, Aye. but it's definitely a movement. Um and I think it's just achieving things. It is. It'd be good to see you set world records and something. World records, man, so I like I like that. Oh, I like you, that. We were talking about when you were gonna retire doing the the West Highland Way. Aye. What was it under twenty four hours you Aye. wanted to do? Aye. Uh, I'm up for that. Let's do it next year. Aye, fuck it, let's do it. We've committed to it in the podcast. Oh, fuck it. Aye, we're on. <laughs> it's done love it's it, done love it yes uh, <laughs> so I so it'll be very exciting to see where you go you go next certainly have you have you back on the podcast when we were on the the whole celebrity side of things with the influencer box and that sort of stuff out of all of them that fight, the whole Tommy Fury fighting that one thing I want to ask you do you, do you believe you could beat them all regardless of weight category aye aye honestly aye, aye. I'd beat more <laughs> I love it the more like every <laughs> fucking one of them like would Twice you, on a so Sunday you, your, your dad was also involved with this But the Scottish boxing scene Yeah Obviously I don't know what you can talk about And that sort of stuff But What do you think of that? Do you think a good thing, bad thing with that? Scottish or? boxing scene as Scottish influencer boxing scene, sorry Oh uh, <laughs> no, no I am no for that at no. all Like Absolutely Terrible That was involved in the sanction of that event The um, Alan Shields and Kaz Mullion. That was Aye. funny. It was funny actually. And listen, see, be fair, they created a good event. Aye, I was at it. I went at it. Entertainment wise. It was. Like, but it was cringy as fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is. Why do you think they're doing it? I, fuck no. Money. Like, the only thing I can think is money. It's money, aye. Like, the only thing I can think But then you look at that. Alan Shields, I've got respect for him. Like, he done it. He didn't box. As such, but he battered fuck it with Kaz Mulligan, like uh, he, he <laughs> battered fuck it. But and it was my dad that had said that this fight can't go on as a fight, too much weight difference in this. Of course, I fuck it. Well, he was like, that, that was my dad aye, aye. that pulled that fight, it wasn't he? Wasn't he Kaz Mulligan? All these things, all that shape bag and all that, it wasn't he him? Mm. It was my dad. 
I'm not sanctioning an event with three stone or whatever it was in weight difference. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't happy doing it with the 15 kilograms, but I'd, I would agree to that with mm-hmm. somebody wearing heavier gloves and somebody wearing heavier gloves. That's what, if you watch that fight, like, Shieldsy was grinning, it was battling him, and it was stepping back because, that's like, yeah, can I do that? Like, you can't. He's pushing him back. I, it's yeah, gonna, yeah. He's going to end up fucking hospital, this kid. Mm-hmm. Like, and so then he was going to fight um, the Rangers player. Aye, that's an normal. Aye. And then he had head traumas that, and injuries and all that sort of stuff. That attack. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That attack. attack. I think people underestimate the damage that can be done in boxing. And we didn't even touch on that. One thing you've left on boxing is you don't get any of these life threatening injuries. No. You actually es- escaped. In I've, your terms, I've got my health. Together, I've got my health intact. Um, and what comes with health is wealth. Aye, because it, it, it's always that, like you've got 100 problems until you've got a health problem. Aye. It's the number one problem that you yep. then have. And it's so scary to think about, but you're putting yourself on the line and that's another thing that is kind of overlooked. It's like, oh, you're doing it because you love it. It's like, a, like I didn't, well, even when I'm watching you box and you get you get hit hard with that and it's like, you don't, you, do, you think, oh, it's just, it's just a punch. And I see you after I'm like, you know, like, look at, Aye. how's your face? Like, like I was like, you know, what? I only seen two punches that you get hit with, but it's all the clenching, like all that trauma that can get, Hit to your head. Yep. With that being said, like that's the kind of big thing with the influencer side thing that's probably no looked at. It's like the and and there's one thing with the influencer side. So me being down as a professional boxer every year, I get brain scan. Yeah, I was going to say that. So I get brain scan, bloods, eye tests, um, blood tests, just to ensure that everything is fitting mm-hmm. to be professional. Like you don't get it in kickboxing. You don't get it in Amity boxing, like you don't get an influence of boxing. Like now, there's a reason why it's been done even more so because the only thing you're hitting is body shots, yep. headshots. Yep, that needs that needs addressed for their health. Like the physical health has to be addressed. Mm. Like whether it be a, a handheld brain scan to make sure there's no anomalies in the brain that mm. can potentially one note can essentially kill somebody. Mm. It can gloves one gloves off or no? It can harm. That has harmed. Uh, just the sort of spot at the back of the yep. head and all that. Right, so uh, that needs a rest. And then for the boxing, this fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see you, Scott, in the next fight. No, you bastard, I'm, I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> 15 grand, that's the biggest that's payday I've had. Let's do it. <laughs> well, look, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on it. It's, um, it's a privilege to be a friend of you as well and see you go through that. Um, it's, it's exciting for you, it's as sad as that chapter closing is. I think the next one's going to be even more exciting. Thanks, so, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for having me on. Thanks for coming on, mate. Thanks Great for team. Good stuff, mate. Awesome, man.